Okay, we are starting a super cool project actually with Buddy that you guys saw when we were hauling that old Atlas. Three hundred and twenty ton of beach sand, sixty six tons of clear stone, four hundred feet of trenching and over 600 feet of filter cloth and over 220 feet of bordering. This project was one of the largest projects that I've done on a weekend. Uh, at the end of the video, there's going to be a time lapse that's unbroken from start to finish of the entire project. We didn't even turn the camera off once. It's a super interesting video and I want to thank you guys for watching this. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Enjoy the video. That picket, that picket, that picket, and that picket are all going to be the size of a massive volleyball court that we're gonna be building here. This sand here is gonna be unbelievable. This is the sand that I actually screened up from our yard. It was in our yard, I ran it through the screener and it is kind of the perfect stuff for a volleyball court. It's not hard and granular, it's really soft, like it's super smooth sand. It reminds me of almost Florida sand. So any of you guys that watch from Florida, it's almost kind of like your sand. It dries nice and white and super, super soft. What are you doing, Chloe? You're gonna be on YouTube. Okay, what we're doing right now is we're marking out our lines for our big O. We got four inch perf big O, uh, but it's covered in filter cloth. And we're marking out our first runs, this side. Okay, let's do that. I pull in on this and it locks, unlocks the bucket and then I curl out. Just like that. And we're disengaged. Here we are starting the trenching on the first side and what we're doing is uh, he had some low spots and water collecting in his backyard so he figured you know what let's do some trenching and get watershed properly away but we actually got rained out this day so we fired back up the next. Today's Saturday and uh, I didn't update you guys anything but you've been probably watching a time lapse that is all the way up there on top of my buddy's tower at his place but I want to show you guys what we've been up to and I'm gonna pop up a few pictures here and um, this is why we did the trenching he had some areas on his property that has been uh, collecting water so we got them they're laying the clear stone in right now we got some chickens helping us down there but we're digging all this out. So this is where his laneway was. So this is this is going to be a piece of solid four inch all the way out here. Big old pipe. This stuff in here is filtered perf. Um, so it has a type of kind of filter cloth over top of the actual pipe so that dirt and stuff doesn't clog it up. We got to lay the rest of the big O. Clear stone. Make sure it's all on grade. Make sure we're all sloping towards where we want to go. Backfill it and then start the volleyball court. So that's updating you guys on what we're doing right now. Okay, the things I do for you guys. Uh, this major time lapse that you guys have been watching is all the way up there, and we gotta check to see, we're day two, it's Sunday right now, and we gotta check to see if it's still going. So we're gonna climb up here and make sure that we are still recording. 
Joe's gonna laugh at me. A little you fun. Want me to hold the camera? <laughs> no, I'm bringing it up with me. Yeah, we're still recording. We're up here right now. I'm freaking out. Time to get down. All right, so what we are doing right now is uh, just stripping off the topsoil portion of the volleyball court area. Why we're stripping off just the topsoil is he had some low areas in his property that he wanted to fill in and underneath the topsoil is kind of a heavier clay because we're in rural areas, a lot of farmers fields, it's heavier clay soil. So the stuff that we're taking off the top is really nice fluffy soil as you can see right underneath the sod, that stuff right there. It's nice and light and good to fill in areas. I also just went and picked up a load of our uh, topsoil that we make, like my topsoil. It's over there in the center. Um, we're then gonna cover everything that we're doing uh, with fresh topsoil and then use the Harley rake attachment. I brought it for the skid steer. So we'll get Joe's young lad on the Harley rake, basically grading up the entire lawn, everything that we wrecked. And then while he's doing that, I'll get the Bobcat to start bringing in the clear stone and uh, we'll get things dug out. But right now we're just kind of taking off the sod getting this nice topsoil off. Okay, so for the actual net, um, we don't want to have a net that you have those things like whenever you have the strings tied back from them because at nighttime people trip on them and it's just kind of a pain in the ass and it would look more sleek if you had just the pull uh, and not wires coming down from it. So this is what we're doing. We just excavated down about four feet. Um, so we'll have about six feet, seven feet of coverage. We're putting a big foot at the bottom of the hole, clear stone to level it out. And then we're adding these sauna tubes into it. Put those on, backfill all around it, and then we're good to go. So that's what we're doing right now for the nets. Okay, so Joe came up with this idea to create a border out of, uh, this is like that composite kind of decking board, Ipex, I forget the name of it, but uh, it's decking board. And what we're doing is uh, drilling these T-posts, hammering them into the ground, and then fastening these to that, and it'll create a border between the grass and the uh, court itself. So that's what we're doing. All right, day three, final day, I'm calling it. We have to start by laying out the filtered cloth and what we're doing with the filter cloth is, let me explain that. We're going to be going across this whole area with filter cloth underneath and up on the sides. And what we're gonna do is actually staple the filter cloth to about here all the way around. So we get a clean separation between the sand and the dirt. That's what we're gonna start with, then from there, we're gonna cast all the sand in, use the skid steer to probably flatten it, and then probably hardly rake that after. Then, one Joe's young lad, he's gonna hop on the Harley rake and he's gonna flatten out the rest of his property and spread topsoil. But as far as volleyball court, we're getting near the end. It's gonna, it should be a shorter day today, but we're doing it right. And then we'll summarize everything after, but let's get to work, let's do it.
So we ended up getting all the sand in. It was about uh, 270 ton it ended up being. And now we got Daniel on the power rig. What he's doing is he's trying to, well, it's his first time ever using a Harley rake and I've only ever had kind of minimal experience on it, but he's doing really good. And it's really handy because it's leaving stuff nice and smooth, but we just need to work on getting some of the more material kind of over on this side. So those should never move. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're gonna shovel that water out of there. What happened was last night there got some water actually down in the hole and uh, it just left it kind of uh, a little soupy down there, but. And it's nice and level now. So everything's down to grade that we want. So now what we're working on is just backfilling up around up to this, creating a nice slope all the way around, just cleaning away the edges. All right, so you guys are watching this video on Wednesday and uh, the day that we left, I'll flip the camera around, but everything smoothed out, seated, and the net's up, and uh, I wanna show you guys the final. Pro My GoPro just died, so we're using the iPhone, but look at this. So we got the net up, posts are all done, perfectly level. That's all flattened out. This is all leveled out, the area around. We use the entire power rake on this entire area, seated. So the dimensions of this are 20, by 12 um and that is two meters extra than in a regular court and we did that because we wanted a big enough sand area so it ended up being about 300 ton of sand now what we did was we did six inches of clear stone underneath this entire thing you guys saw then we rolled out the filter cloth on top and then 18 inches of sand but it ended up being more like almost 24 inches of sand everywhere so i'm really excited to actually use this thing and play a little volleyball game. This was one of the kind of cooler um, projects that I've ever done at least. It was definitely something unique. This isn't something that our business generally does. Um, obviously Joe being a friend of mine, I wanted to help him out um, and get this project done. It's something that he's wanted to do for a long time as well. So I'm super happy with how it turned out. So is he, his family, you guys saw the kids, they were all helping as well. Um, they're gonna get a lot of use out of this and that's kind of the best thing about this is actually just to see it being used by family having fun um, during kind of these quarantine times where you can't really go out and do stuff but now they don't have to they can stay here hang out and do this sort of stuff so I want to thank you guys if you watched the entire video um, show some support hit the subscribe button as well as give the video a thumbs up Comment down below what you guys thought of this project, if you guys thought we missed anything. I already know a few things that I'm gonna do differently on it, but I'll save that for another video. I wanna see if you guys can pick out stuff that you saw that we did that we could maybe adjust and do a little bit differently. But super happy with the project. Shout out to Joe and shout out to Joe's family for all helping and getting this project done. It was a busy, busy weekend, um, but it was a good way to spend the first long weekend of the year. So we'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Hey Kenny, don't scratch it, eh? What? And of course, I didn't forget about you guys, but your page is the channel that watched the entire videos to the very end, which is right now. And if you happen to be one of those true patriots, I want you guys to comment down below, serve it up. <laughs> Why serve it up? Well, it kind of suits the whole volleyball theme as you serve a volleyball. So if you guys watch the entire video to the very end, I thank you and make sure to comment down below, serve it up. I appreciate you guys and we'll catch you on the next one. Awesome project. Take care.
deserve All the bad and the hurt I know you tried so hard Ooh, I know you've done your part It's not fair You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright All your life you've tried To be a good man inside Did everything that you thought you should Didn't seem to do you any good so hard 